How's it going you guys? New Age here bringing you our second update video for uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Second one to my channel anyways because uh, they haven't had too many uh, leaks for information and all that since I started my channel but I have been looking forward to making these videos. So uh, this is the second one for the channel. So we're just going to jump right into what we've got. Uh, this video is coming out a little bit later than the actual update just because I've been having trouble with, uh, with uploading videos but uh, that's beside the point. So, this leak that we got uh, was pretty big one, and really awesome stuff that came out, I gotta admit. So, uh, first off, three new Megas to announce. First one, sorry about that, first one, we've got uh, Mega Altaria. Now, a lot of people were waiting for this, and a lot of people were expecting this, and I was one of those people as well. So, to see it actually here, and to see that it was what we were expecting is great. Me uh, Mega Altaria the first fairy dragon type which is really cool I mean the typing just sounds so unique just because it's like the new type paired with the type that it's weak against and all that just a really cool combination of typing um, as far as uh, information they have released quite a bit as far as uh, their typing and their abilities so Mega Altaria has got uh, pixelate for its ability which I actually think honestly is a little bit eh uh, just because I feel like it's a similar uh, kind of Sylveon or Mega Gardevoir approach to it because Moonblast is a, is a thing and really it just does like 10 damage less than Hyper Voice. I mean yeah it can make a difference but I've seen people they don't even use Pixelate on a Sylveon just because you get Moonblast and then you have Cute Charm as your ability which works out even better. So I feel like those uh, type changing abilities have so far been better for physical Pokemon, not really special Pokemon, at least Pixelate hasn't worked well, just because, you know, they have Moonblast, so I feel like it could have had a better ability, but as far as uh, Fairy Dragon and its design, it looks so amazing, it looks great, I love it, I love it so much, it's so Altaria, just what you would picture, that's it right there, I like it, I like it, so moving on to the next one, we've got uh, Low Punny as the next Mega that was uh, released which is really weird because uh, I wasn't expecting Mega Low Punny, and it's not even Gen 3 Pokemon, which does though uh, get me a little bit excited because that means there could be other non-Gen 3 Pokemon that they make Megas of. That means making Megas of Kanto Pokemon is still a thing, or just random out there Pokemon that you wouldn't expect. I mean, Gen 6 wasn't a gener a specific like repeat of a generation so they could just make whatever megas they wanted so you'd figure coming into ruby and sapphire they'd make only those megas but now they're showing us that's not the case they're just gonna go all out with random megas again so i can't wait to see uh, what more megas they have that we weren't even expecting at all and what kind of things they're gonna do with them so uh low pony for example Low Pony, when it evolves, or when it Mega evolves, it becomes normal fighting, which is really cool. And uh, it gets Scrappy, which is really awesome. And it gets the ability, of high, or the ability, it gets the move high jump kick. So, the fake outs and the dizzy punches and the drain punches, all that good stuff. I mean, hitting Ghost type Pokemon doesn't get any more simple than that. And I think it's pretty cool, honestly. And uh, it is, you know fighting normal pretty much means it's still immune to ghost but then it gains all the uh, fighting weaknesses and then loses the normal weakness so I mean typing wise you know could have I don't want to say could have been better because I mean it's still it's still good and paired with its ability I really like it and uh, as far as the design goes it's a little scary looking <laughs> I gotta say but uh, I'm not gonna judge I mean Mega Pokemon or Mega Pokemon, and I love that they're coming out with more. So, uh, speaking of Mega Pokemon, we got the last one, Mega Salamence, finally confirmed, and I just think this thing looks amazing. I mean, like the whole concept of you know, Bag on and Shell gone, wanting to fly and all that, and then it evolves into Salamence and it learns fly, and they just took that to like the whole next level with this thing, giving it like the design of just like a jet, looking like it's ready to just go so fast it looks amazing and then I love that they gave it like the gray from a uh, uh, what was it from shell gone around its body again and then it has like its arms tucked in like it's just ready to just go so fast 
I love it. I love the design. It looks so cool. It looks so cool. And then, uh, it's been confirmed to have the ability aerially, which, like I said, those, uh, those type changing abilities are so far have been best on physical Pokemon. So we got another pincer here pretty much, but, uh, I feel like this is going to be worse, a lot worse than Mega Pincer. For one, Salamence is already stronger than Pincer, and two, Salamence gets, uh, a lot of different coverage moves, a lot of different sets it can run. So I'm looking forward to seeing all the different possibilities that come out with uh, Mega Salamence, and this thing is gonna be crazy. I mean, Aerolate, not bad. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So other than the Megas, we did get some uh, some more information. Like I said, this was a big leak that we got this time. Of more of the information, we have a. Uh, customizable, not customizable, I don't know about that yet, but we do have a personalized clothing that you get for your trainer when you go into the Pokemon contest, and it says they're given to you by, what is it, a lady named, uh, contest idol called Lucia, I want to say it's Lucia, L-U-C-I-A, and, uh, they show the pictures of the costumes here, and it's really cool, because the girl has the, uh, pop star Pikachu outfit, with the pink dress and all that, and then the boy has the rock star Pikachu outfit, so we're getting to wear those I guess when we go into our contest and uh, that's gonna be really cool so new I mean we got those new clothes maybe we'll get more customizable clothes uh, as as uh, more things come out in the game because I know people are liking that too for the customized clothes in X and Y that'd be cool if they you know kept that going in Ruby and Sapphire even though these are old sprites that have a set outfit so uh, speaking of contests we also got new information on the Pikachus for the contest, and this is really cool. Depending on what uh, cosplay the Pikachu is wearing, it gets a different attack. So just like uh, how Rodham, when it goes into its different forms, it learns a different move based on the type, Pikachu is going to be learning different moves. I don't think the type is going to change, but it's going to be learning different moves based on what, uh, what cosplay it has. So they have the list of them too. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through that. They've got a uh, for Rockstar Pikachu, it gets to move uh, Meteor Mash, crazy. Uh, for the Pikachu PhD, it gets Electric Terrain, which that's all right. And then uh, Pikachu Popstar gets Draining Kiss, not bad. Pikachu Bell gets Icicle Crash, which we'll get into that. And uh, Pikachu Libre gets Flying Press. So uh, some really interesting and cool moves. I mean, Meteor Mash, that's cool for the physical ones, and then like. Iron Tail was a thing, so uh, maybe bring it back with Meteor Mash, chance to get the attack boost, that's that's cool, I think that's cool, I'd run that one, and then uh, Electric Terrain is kinda eh, I mean, it's, a, it's an electric Pokemon, so nothing really out there, and then uh, Draining Kiss, that's cool, add a little like fairy element to uh, the Pikachu, and then uh, <laughs> the Pikachu with Icicle Crash, that is just insane, I swear, they're trying to push Pikachu into competitive so hard. And uh, Pikachu with uh, Pikachu with Icicle Crash, that is going to be amazing. I can't, I, I want to use that so bad. <laughs> and the worst part is though, like, you use it in competitive play and it's wearing like this big, you know, obvious outfit. And you're like, that's the Pikachu with Icicle Crash. So you can't exactly like surprise opponents with it, but it's, it's still really cool. And then uh, the last one with Flying Press, which is... You know, it was a unique move only to Halucha, so now, uh, I guess it's, it's unique to Pikachu and Halucha, only two who deserve that. So, uh, that's that, and, uh, the last bit of information we got is, uh, we're getting an event Pokemon for Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, and that event Pokemon is a shiny Beldum with, uh, Metagrossite. So, we can all look forward to that, and that's gonna be really cool. I don't know if uh, they're going to do it similar to like the Blaziken event, where you just get it with the game and you can't get it in-game, but I want to assume you can get it in-game just because, I mean, Steven's in the game, so who else to get it from? Just like how Diantha, you got uh, Gardevoir from her after you beat her. So who knows? I don't know exactly the specifications, but they did release a picture of a uh, shiny Mega Metagross, and this thing is so cool. They make it look orange in the picture, but it's not. It's got the yellow claws just looking insane, and then the shiny silver body, which which is what makes Mega Metagross 
or which makes uh, shiny metagross just in general so cool. And then the X on its head is blue, and uh, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. It just looks, it just looks insane. The Mega Metagross looking better and better. So, uh, shiny Beldums for everyone. Look forward to that, guys. So uh, that's gonna be all for now. So stay tuned. I will be having update videos coming out as they release the information. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like. If you want to see more videos, you can subscribe to my channel, New Age Steel, where I upload multiple videos every day. And you can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter to get first-hand information on when I'm uploading videos to the channel. So until then, I'm New Age Steel. Keep on watching, and I will see you guys next time.